Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install a font on your Mac OS X computer. I am running 10.9 Mavericks, but this solution should work on any Mac computer running OS X, so Snow Leopard, Leopard, Mountain Lion, Lion Panther, all of those are good to go. So first of all, you need to find your font. Now you can find a free font online, you can purchase a font online, a font could have been given to you by a colleague. So I'm just going to quickly search for free fonts. And then I'm just going to click on one of the top results here. We've got uh, 1,001 free fonts. That looks good to me. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick a font down here. We'll go with the, well, I don't really like these. We'll go with the cheesecake font though anyways, just for the purpose of this example. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And most fonts end up downloading as a zip file. So you can see this is going to be called cheesecake.zip. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my desktop and we'll save it there. And I'm going to shrink my Chrome window and go to my desktop. Now to uh, open up the zip file, we're just going to double click on it and it's going to unzip the file and create another folder for us called Cheesecake. So I could actually, at this point, I could delete the zip file. I can just move that to the trash. And I'm going to go into the Cheesecake folder and I want to look for anything that has a t.ttf file extension with it. That is a font. And it's really easy to install. So this is the actual font. This is going to be a picture of the font and then this is the license for how you can reuse this font. But if I double click on the .ttf file, you'll notice that it opens up an application on Mac called Fontbook and this is where you can manage all of your fonts. So it opens up Fontbook and it asks me do I want to install a font? Yes I do so I'm going to go ahead and click install font. Sometimes you might get uh, some minor problems that usually isn't a big deal. You can just hit the checkbox next to the font and go ahead and click install checked and it's going to install it in your font book. Now if you want to see all of the fonts on your computer, you're good to go now. If you open up Word, if you open up Photoshop, Pages, this font will be available to use in pretty much any application on your OS X computer. So Photoshop, any of those. Now just to show you, if I quit out a font book, uh, because I just installed when I was kind of in a weird area there in font book, but if I quit out a font book and then I search Spotlight and go back into font book, you'll notice that it has every single font on my computer in here. And all of the pre-installed fonts and all of the ones that I've custom installed. So I can click on it and I can see a preview of the font um, and its bold version, its regular version. I could hit the drop down to the left of it um, to see the different versions I have of each particular font. So if you're having issues with fonts on your computer, and just as a little side note, we talk, we already know how to install a font now, but this is how you can manage all of your fonts as well. So I figured that might be important to show all of you. I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.